All right, hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, another day in my life, I'm very excited because I've been waiting for this uh, package for a while here. This is, I'm gonna be opening up and unboxing four pair of Truman boots. I know it's insane. The craziest shipment I ever got was, I think from Grant Stone, I think I had three or four arrive at the same time. This is gonna be a crazy one. So let's strap in and let's get to it. Okay. All right, that's a stack of boots right there. <laughs> All right, so I have no idea what order these are in, but I just want to do a quick unboxing and sort of give my initial thoughts. I'll do formal reviews on each of these, but just to get started, you know, these unboxing videos are usually pretty simple and uh, I enjoy doing them. So let's jump into the first one. Look at that. Perfectly wrapped. Truman thank you card. Fresh rawhide laces. Truman really does a great job with their rawhide laces. I th thought that they came from Guarded Goods, but I'm not exactly sure where they come from. But I put the rawhide laces from Truman on par with the rawhide laces from Guarded Goods. All right, got the Truman matchbox here. It's become part of my ritual. I, I, I just have to strike one up as soon as I soon as I get the new box. It's for luck. <laughs> First up, so Truman released, they started running, I could tell already which what these are, so let me open them up first. Whoa. Those are so amazing. <laughs> so here we have, so th this is, Truman started working with a new mystery tannery in Italy. There's a lot of mystery tanneries in Italy, I'm, I'm finding out. A lot of uh, boot makers strike up like secret deals with certain tanneries to be able to source their own exclusive leather through some of these tanneries in Italy. So this one is natural horse rump, but it's not from Mariam. Truman does not disclose from which factory this comes from. But that's, that's really cool. Truman was saying that they are most impressed by the horse rump coming out of this tannery. In fact, they ran a military green that my buddy Adam Grimm got recently, and they were saying it was the best horse rump, and I believe they sourced this same stuff from that same mystery Italian tannery. Oh man, so gorgeous, so beautiful. What I really love about this horse rump is it's just so rich. It's got so much character from the pictures and now seeing it in real life. Yes, it's got so much character to it. So many ripples, so many striations. Oh, just beautiful, just beautiful green. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do formal unboxings and reviews of these, but yeah, so these are gonna be on Truman's new 20 last, it's probably my favorite, I think it's safe to say at this point, their 20 last is my favorite last of theirs right now um, at this point. Um, I, I love that 20 last. Um, so we did perforated cap toe. I realized that I don't have, I have a lot of cap toes. I don't have a lot of perforated cap toes. So any new cap toes that I've been getting recently, if I have the option, I opt for perforated. I think it adds just such a good classy dressy look to it. I think it, it really adds a depth to the overall look of the boot. Yes, so we've got uh, 270 degree Goodyear Storm Welt, polished brass eyelets, two speed hooks, Truman Lug Commando Sole, brown contrasting tongue. Brilliant, all right. Time to box them back up and realistically probably won't get to wearing these for a little while. Yeah, I, I still have a lot of boots I haven't even started to wear yet. Oh, it's getting kinda out of hand. <laughs> Might need to start slowing down, but it is just so much fun, like shopping for boots, exploring new leathers. It's, it's a new journey every time. All right, so here, oh, this is, yeah, this might be the one I was the most excited to get. So the this is viola horse rump, which means purple. 
And when I first saw this, I'm like, what is that? I, I, like at first I dismissed it. I'm like, nah, nah, I don't need, I don't need purple. But now that I see it, it like after it marinated in my mind, and I, and again, I think my buddy Adam Grimm got a pair of these. I was like, yeah, I was like, why didn't I get those purple ones? And so for these viola horse rumps, I opted for 20 last again, perforated cap toe again, 270 degree Goodyear, Goodyear welt with a storm welt. And everything else is pretty standard, except I opted for the gunmetal eyes. No speed hooks on this one. That's wild. Yeah, and the and the purple, it's it's semi struck through. I want to say so. It, it's not all the way struck through, but the purple dye goes pretty deep. Actually, I think it. You know what? Actually, I might be lying. I think it does. Well, it goes mostly all the way through. You can tell on the unfinished edges that uh, the purple penetrates not just the surface, but it goes deeper. And it's also lined, I think, with lambskin lining. And I opted for a matching tongue, which was more expensive. I think Truman charges charged an extra like 30 bucks for the matching tongue, but worth it. Phew. Yeah, I wanted to keep this one nice and uniform. All right. Next up, we've got... All right, let's tear into these bad boys. Whoa, interesting. I don't think, whoa. Wow. I wasn't expecting these. I I actually ordered um, Smoky Gray Mohawk. I ordered these Indian Tan Mohawks separate and well after I ordered the Smoky Grays. So this is kind of a good, um, Whoa, this is kind of a good surprise because I was expecting my Smoky Grays. The Smoky Grays are still on the way, but um, that's what I was expecting these to be. Now, I've been a big fan of Truman's Mock Toes on that 20 last. Like I said, I can't talk up the 20 last enough. And on this particular one, I'm excited because this is my first Gloxy Cut Vibram Soul. Absolutely phenomenal. When, <laughs> when Truman first released this leather, I messaged them and I just said, hey, could you guys just knit me a sweater out of that stuff? I don't want a boot, I just want a sweater. But then <laughs> as time went on, this, this grew on me, this Indian tan mohawk, because I really like mohawk. And in fact, so these are also in mohawk. So these are my Truman boots in Gobi mohawk. I believe this is Gobi named after the Gobi desert. And it's very similar, um, except, this Indian tan has a lot more character. It's more of a tan than an off-white bone color. And uh, yeah, wow. First Gloxy Cuts. I, I just love the shape of these mock toes. They are tremendous. And they, they hooked me up with a really nice cut there at the, at the top of the vamp there with lots of good veining and character. So I opted for polished brass eyelets, four speed hooks, one eyelet at the top. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Let's look at the other one. Wow. Unreal. Really good character on both of these pairs. I am I am impressed. Dang. Those are gonna look incredible. I'm thinking I, I might save one for the Stitch Down Patina Thunderdome. Not sure which one. We'll see for the next one anyways. All right, and last but not least, but probably the one that I'm most excited about. This one is another one of the exotic colors, the exotic horse rumps from Italy. Wow, oh man. So these are, wow, those really pop. These are the Hugo de Naranja horse rump leathers from again the mystery tannery in Italy and yeah that that Indian tan mohawk that I just opened up that's from Stead but yeah this this is going to be from the tannery in Italy <clears throat> lambskin lined we went with gloxy cut sole on this one polished brass eyelets absolutely unreal absolutely surreal and th th these are light enough so they they have a similar look to the natural ones. You can see the lines across 
and yeah wow that is a beautiful beautiful leather yeah this one's struck through this orange is all the way struck through but it has lining so the lining uh, gives it a natural appearance along the edges but un freaking real Hugo de Naranja for those of you that aren't uh, Spanish experts like me means orange juice um, <laughs> that's a good word for it and uh, Truman actually Truman had a good post about these they said uh, bold vibrant sweet saturated pulp free Hugo de Naranja is now available for MTO make no mistake about it this horse rump is a bright orange for the brash build it on a gloxy cut wedge or a crusty wedge like the pictured boot for orange cream vibes also part of an MTO incredible I also opted for black stitching to contrast against the orange and uh, whew. yeah those are a dream come true just amazing perforated cap toe again matching tongue once again a little bit extra for that matching tongue but totally worth it oh and yeah and so on the tongue that's where you can see both sides of the of the leather yeah so it's natural on one side so it's not completely struck through it's almost struck through though like it's 70 percent of the way struck through so even as you wear down through these layers you'll still see orange you have to wear down pretty deep to start to see the natural so anyways thanks a lot for watching guys which one of these new drops is your favorite i think they're all incredible i think i was most looking forward to the hugo de naranja though if i'm being honest um, but all have haunted my dreams and all will find a worthy place in my collection and anyways please leave me your thoughts in the comments below have i gone totally insane with all these crazy new colors i think they're a lot of fun and uh i can't wait to see how they patinate over time really really excited to, to try out this horse rump from this new mystery italian tannery so anyways thanks a lot for watching guys you can follow me on instagram and watch as these boots patina my username is aerosurfer lv and anyways thanks a lot for watching i'll see y'all in my next video